guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another super in-depth and super honest review on the Guess Noel shoulder bag in the white color. I'll be going over the price, where to buy, details, specs, mod shots, what fits inside, the pros and cons, and finally my overall score of this bag. If you're interested in that, then please keep on watching. So first of all, we're going to start off with price and where to buy. So I happen to buy this bag online on the Guess website, however you can also buy it in store, in the Guess stores as well, and pretty much anywhere else that sells new Guess bags, so like department stores like The Bay, etc. This bag is regularly $130 Canadian, however I got mine on sale recently for around $84 Canadian. So now let's go over the specs and claims of this bag. So this bag comes in many different colors, such as the white color you see here, which is quite a true white. It's not like an off-white or cream. It's very much a arctic white. Um, it also comes in black and this beautiful pale pink color, which I was debating over yellow and blue, etc, etc. I figured I would go with the white bag though because it was a little bit more versatile than the pink. The bag is made of faux leather and it's imitating like a Saffiano leather as you can see in here. Now I'm just going to show you an overview of the details of this bag and also what fits inside. So here is the front of this bag as you can see. There's the beautiful guest logo that's raised like this. The back of the bag has this super handy zipper pocket. The bottom of the bag has a nice wide base. And the top of the bag just looks like this. There is these two hooks here that can be removed and it is adjustable by this little belt buckle here. The top of the bag is a zip top closure, which I love. However, the zipper being tucked like this makes it a little bit tough to open sometimes, which I'll go over more in the pros and cons. Uh, the zipper pull is also faux leather. And inside the bag you have a interior zip pocket at the back and also three card slots here. The inside of the bag is lined in fabric and it's very lightweight. Now I'm just going to show you what fits inside this bag. So in this exterior back pocket here, you could put anything from feminine products to tissues, etc. I personally love to put my cell phone in here because it fits super easily for easy access. Then inside of the interior slip pocket, I just like to put tissues, paper towels, and shopping bags. Then I would normally put my cards in the card slots. But if you wanted to, you could also fit a wallet as well. Here is a catch-all that just has headphones, band-aids, tissues, mini scissors. There's a full-on mini umbrella that also fits inside. And my keys. As you can see, there's still so much room to spare. So now I'm just going to be trying on the bag and showing you the different ways that you can wear it. Now I'm just going to be going over the pros and cons of this bag. So the first pro I can think of is that it's a super good dupe for the Prada nylon bag or even the Prada Clio bag. The shape and everything about it is so incredibly similar, right down to the triangular shaped logo. I think guests knew what they were doing. It very much looks like Prada. However, unlike the Prada Clio bag that does not have a zipper for security, which was an ultimate no-go for me, I absolutely love that this one has the top zipper as it keeps everything nice and securely inside. And I just love that because I find a lot of small baguette shoulder bags do not have a zipper for some reason. Like here I'm thinking of the Prada Clio, the YSL 5 to 7 bag. Like for me personally, it's just so incredibly close to your armpit that I don't know, I just feel like it's easy for it to bang around and stuff to fall out. I would definitely want some security like the zipper, um, but that's just me. Another huge pro is the back zipper pocket as it fits a cell phone, which is super, super handy. I love when a bag has an easy slip pocket or zip pocket for your cell phone on the exterior of the bag so that you don't have to go into the actual bag itself and dig around for the cell phone. I just leave it unopened like this, like a slip pocket, and I just keep my cell phone in there for easy access and it's so user friendly. The back zipper pocket is super 
super, super handy for tissues, feminine products, etc. I love the bright interior as it's very easy to find your belongings and I also love that it's fabric lined so it's super lightweight. I also love these cute and super functional little card slots here. Very, very handy as this is a small bag so if you don't want to bring a wallet, you can just put your most used cards here, which is highly, highly appreciated. I love how wide the base is of this bag as I find that it fits a lot more than it looks like. That was an issue I had actually with the Coach Payton hobo bag is that it tapers into like a flat seam, whereas this has a wide base, meaning that it fits a lot more on the bottom of the bag, which I love. It makes a huge difference when bags have that, trust me. I also love that you can remove the charm. This bag actually originally came with this big chunky guest charm and I love that you can actually just remove that, which I did immediately because I don't like chunky chains hanging off of my bag personally. And now for some of the cons of this bag. So it kind of sucks that you can't wear it crossbody. However, I guess you could technically just add a crossbody strap to this if you have like a white one or you can mix and match and you can technically make it into a crossbody if you really wanted to. However, it's not meant to be worn that way, nor do they supply you with the option to do that. Another con, and this is maybe just a personal preference thing, but I really, really hate this large chunky buckle. Um, I love the simplicity of like just a simple handle. This big buckle just makes it look so chunky and like busy. Um, and I just, I personally really don't like that. I never really have to adjust a shoulder bag anyway, so it's just really not necessary. I really don't like that. Another con is of course, it's not the best quality. Um, the faux leather is obviously faux, so it's very cheap. I don't know how it's gonna wear over time, but of course it's like an under $100 bag that's faux leather, like, what do you expect, right? Guess is a very like affordable brand. It's not luxury or anything like that. So all things considered, considering it's a like faux leather bag, it's actually high quality faux leather because there's different tiers of faux leather too. So <laughs> I would say it feels quite hefty and sturdy. Another con is that the zipper kind of tucks in here, making it a little bit hard to close with one hand. You have, kind of have to like close it a quarter of the way for it to be easy to open and close. Um, if you see what I mean here, see it's like, whenever zippers are like this, it's very tough to close it. Um, it's very hit and miss. And the final con I can think of of this bag is that I don't really like how chunky and three-dimensional this logo is. Um, because you wear it on your shoulder like this, I find that where it's located, it happens to directly line up with the side of my elbow and it hits me in the bone all the time and it actually really freaking hurts. <laughs> As you can imagine something this sharp and like three dimensional just banging against the side of your bone all day long is just kind of not the best feeling. <laughs> so overall my final score of this bag is a 7.5 out of 10. It's actually super functional considering it's like a small little baguette bag style bag and I love all of the compartments considering um, where it lacks is just small things that I've mentioned but overall it's a really really cute bag especially for summer and if you were kind of debating on the Prada Clio or nylon, I would highly recommend getting this instead because it has a very similar look to those ones for a absolute fraction of the price. Like this is not even $100 when it's on sale. So yeah guys, that is it for this video. If it was helpful to you, then please don't forget to give it a like. It truly, truly lets me know what you guys are liking. And also, please, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would truly mean the absolute world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!